Hello, this video was done following our subscribers request. We continue our series of videos regarding set up the server on the ESP32 in the ESP IDF environment. In our previous videos in uh, the serial, we talked about GET, POST uh, and simple static HTML site which is approached by GET uh, request. In this video, we continue the set setup of server with HTML page on it on ESP32 and the difference is that here we will enable an input of uh, the data so that we will receive from HTML an input to ESP32. Uh, our uh, sources are of course the expressive documentation, the same HTTP server uh, explanation and I encourage you to read uh, this example, especially this one, we are heavily based on this example, uh, it's a very uh, very interesting example. I also encourage you to visit this, this site. This site talks about Arduino implementation but uh, uh, regarding the HTML, here is an interaction between the HTML and ESP32. Some interesting aspects can be learned here from this page. Okay. Also, we will use a text-to-string converter, which we also mentioned in the previous video, in order to convert HTML uh, file to a string. They are practically the same, but we will show you what uh, we mean. Uh, as always, in our resources are placed in the GitHub repository of Sims IoT devices. We are talking about FreeRTOS ESP IDF HTTP server. And here, to the addition of all those files that are very similar, we are based on the server get file which uh, implements the simple GET request. In the previous video we talked about a server GET file with static HTML page and in this video we are going to talk about server GET request with HTML which will enable us to input some data. So we basically copied this example which is fairly short, 150 something lines to our editor. Uh, here in our editor we have the C file which was copied from the GitHub repository and also the HTML file. This file is not connected in any way with the project, it's just a place to put an HTML file and just to show you what we are talking about I will take this file and uh, run it with uh, Firefox because of the security issues. And uh, here we can submit string and integer. For example, if I write here like D or something and put submit, and uh, and also I can here write like three and press submit. Because it is not connected to any server, you don't see here in this line, in the URL line, any change. Let's see how we can put this uh, file on our server and what it will do. And before we dive into this, a small uh, thing, how can we transform this file? to the string which can be read by the C compiler. You can see here, we copied the H standard HTML file here, convert, and we are taking this string and put it and put it over here inside the response. And this will be our HTML response. Okay? Now we can run it and see how it uh, will uh, perform. 
just it to be a little more easier to read. This file is based on the standard get implementation. The only difference is that we here, here have two handlers, get handler and get handler string. And we initiate those two handlers separately. Like here, uh, get handler and get handler string. Uh, also, those two, uh, uh, th those two handlers are initiated here. You see? So the program is running, Wi Fi is connected, and Wi Fi got the IP. This is the IP of our server. So uh, we will uh, open another page. Okay. This is our server. Uh, you see, it is HTTP server, and the implementation here is not secure. Please check that your browser is enables you to run an insecure servers. In on my machine, Chrome browser uh, don't allow to run HTTP servers on the HTTPS servers. So I am using Firefox. Now I am writing some string like f and press submit. Here you can see that the program is reading me that the data was sent and here the URL line was changed. In addition to the host, we get the get edition and the string equals f. How our program is receiving it? From this line, the program uh, taking the host, those numbers, after it, it's taking the URL, you see here, str, and it also can take the string value, which is f in our case. If we will repeat it, sorry, and put some integer value, like 5, submit, the same, the, uh, here the values are get int equals 5 and our ESP understand it, he took the host number, the value and also the value which is equal 5. How it was achieved? I will put it like this. Uh, you see here we initiate the memory, initiate the Wi-Fi connection and start the web server. The web server is initiating uh, uh, two handlers. One is the get handler which will enable us to read the entire HTML file and the other the get input handler which is reading the URL line. Those two handlers specified here and defines each uh, a separate function which will implement it. Please no notice the difference that the in HTML uh, handler we are looking on the root of the URI. In the input we are get, uh, looking on the get extension of the URI. What is the difference of those to handlers implemented. The standard get handler which is implement the HTML file have only the response with HTML converted to string. You see the difference for example here you, you see the in addition uh, which will enable the compiler to read this character. It's basically very similar but it's adapted to the compiler and sends it to the uh, to the browser. The second handler, handler str, have three parts. The first part is a reading uh, of the host. We are reading the value of the string, of the URI, and get the host value and print it to the screen. The second part is getting the, um, the values. We getting the string and then uh, take the extension to str, extension to int, 
to str end to end and take the actual value which is f and 5 here here and here and then we send the response that the data was sent so um, if I am will repeat it this is the first handler then we take the value like G submit updating the URI and here the ESP have the appropriate value G in his disposal and uh, that was the implementation of HTML server on the ESP32 in the ESP IDF environment uh, thank you